Hello everyone, welcome back to Praveen Tutorial Point. In this session, we are going to discuss about the expansion of liquids. The liquids also will expand on heating as the solids will expand on heating, but the expansion of the liquids are uh, different. That means these liquids expands more, 100 times more than the expansion of solids. Comparing to solids, this expansion of liquids is 100 times greater than that. And here we can consider like this, uh, thermal expansion of liquids is identical to the volume expansion in solids. Reason is the liquids won't have a length or area. So directly they will have the volume. So the uh, liquids expansion of liquids is identical to the volume expansion in solids. Volume expansion V2 equal to V1 of 1 plus gamma into delta T. And the liquids expands in uh, different ways uh, with uh, comparing to the range in temperature. As the molecules are very loosely packed in liquids, the expansion range is very high for these liquids. It expands more and more uh, with uh, <coughs> while comparing to the solids. We know that these liquids will not have a specified shape or uh, size uh, wherever the liquid is placed. If the liquid is placed into a baker, the baker shape will be the shape of the liquid. And as they are, uh, we can't directly heat the liquid directly on a uh, flame. The liquid is taken into a baker. And so due to that, when we are heating a liquid, the level of liquid falls down. Due to expansion of that vessel, the level of the liquid falls down. And whenever we are heating further, the liquid level will raise us up due to expansion of the liquid. First, the expansion of vessel takes place. Later, there will be the expansion of the liquid. And due to that, first the level will raise uh, the level of liquid will fall down. And after that, the level of the liquid will raise up. And this expansion of liquids are of uh, two types that is uh, coefficient of coefficient of real expansion which is gamma r and coefficient of apparent exp expansion gamma a quotient of real expansion and quotient of apparent expansion see for this as we heat all the liquids in a vessel so this here is a vessel and it contains some liquid in it and the volume of the liquid is here this is the original volume of the liquid that is V1 and if you start heating the vessel first the vessel will expand so this is the original volume of the liquid now you consider for instant the expansion of vessel there is no expansion of vessel vessel is not expanding so due to this heat there will be raise in the level of the liquid so now the volume of the liquid is V2. Original volume of the liquid is V1 and due to heating there is change in volume and that is V2. So this I am considering as a real change in volume. Real change in volume and this I am naming as original. This is the original volume of the liquid and this is the real change in volume that means this vessel if the vessel is not expanding so that will be the real change in volume now if you consider the vessel also expands if the vessel also expands then the expansion will be or the volume will be that is v3 
and this we consider as apparent apparent change in volume apparent change in volume that means apparent means which appears to us which appears to us the volume is apparent volume and which is the real change in volume that will be uh, the real change in volume which appears is apparent change in volume and which really volume takes place that is real change in volume and now if you consider for this quotient of real expansion the, it can be defined as real real expansion it is defined as real change in volume real change in volume per unit original volume per unit raise in temperature that means here the real change in volume real change in volume is v2 minus original volume is v1 by v1 of raising temperature that is t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 is the raising temperature so this is for gamma r here gamma r is the quotient of quotient of real expansion and in the same way if you see definition for quotient of apparent expansion it is defined as it is defined as apparent change apparent change apparent change in volume per unit original volume per unit change in temperature so for that we can write it as gamma a quotient of apparent expansion gamma a equal to apparent change apparent change means v3 and original change is v1 and v1 and change in temperature is t2 minus t1 so this is for quotient of apparent change and now let us see the relation between relation between gamma r and gamma a so the relation is gamma r equal to gamma a plus gamma v here gamma v is the expansion of vessel so here real real expansion will be greater than the apparent expansion and if you want real expansion we have to plus uh, expansion of the vessel also so gamma r equal to gamma a plus gamma v or uh, this can be written as gamma r equal to gamma a plus see uh, mostly we will use uh, uh, in terms of alpha instead of gamma in terms of alpha we will use and in previous session we have seen that the relation between gamma and alpha is gamma equal to 3 alpha so this can be written as 3 alpha v so this is the relation between uh, gamma r and gamma a which is quotient of real expansion and quotient of apparent expansion